my name is Sam Nestor and I am a New York City based musician. Over the past year, I've had the pleasure of uh, developing a new sound and light installation for George Mason University's Fairfax campus in Virginia. Uh, it's currently living inside the President's Park greenhouse and without going into too many details, it takes the natural biorhythms of plants um, that are inside the installation and it converts those biorhythms to music, to sound and to light. The installation is viewable in person by visiting the greenhouse on campus or by tuning in via the dedicated Twitch channel uh, which is streaming 24-7 from inside uh, the installation uh, so that people um, anywhere around the world can visit and see and hear what the plants are creating. Without going into all of the details of how the installation works, the plants that are sending out this sound, sending out the music or creating the music, um, we can control certain elements of them, including uh, the kind of musical key uh, or mode that they're working in. And so for this evening's performance, um, which I'm very excited about, um, I created a simple prompt for some of my colleagues and, and friends, some truly fantastic um, world-class artists. Uh, I decided to take three uh, samples from uh, the stream that had been streaming online. The simple prompt was take one of these three musical modes, one of these three samples, and use it as the basis to create something, to create a piece of music, whether it be an improvisation or, or to compose something else around it, but it had to be incorporated in some way. So um, over the course of uh, the next 45 minutes or so, you're going to see some truly in incredible uh, artists use this as the basis for inspiration um, to create uh, a new work, each one of them um, in their own individual artistic voice. Uh, there's a lot of freedom and as such you're going to see a wide variety of interpretations or ways of utilizing this stream to create something. I too wrote a piece for this evening uh, that's performed by The Brass Project, a New York City based brass group that I have the pleasure of performing with. All of the pieces are accompanied by video. The video portion was also open to uh, any kind of interpretation, whether it uh, be filming oneself performing alongside the stream, the MIDI stream, the sounds that were, were sent to them, um, or whether it was to construct something new or to take something pre-existing and overlay it. Um, and you're going to see those throughout this evening. The installation itself is going to be up and available for, for one year, both by visiting the, the campus or um, tuning in online. Without saying too much more, I'm excited to hand it over to my, my very good friend, the great corner player Kirk Kanofke, um, and the expansive world of the whole tone scale along with his improvisation.
My name is Isabella Panto Gleischer, and I am a flutist and created a piece for tonight's stream. Uh, one of the things that I love the most about Arcadia is the combination of um, highly controlled sounds and highly free material. Um, Sam has created a very specific set of sounds that we hear, but the plants control them, and I, I love that um, duality. And so that was pretty much the driving force for my creation for this piece. And so I thought about how, how do I make something that um, has involves all of these elements. And so um, it seemed like composing something from start to finish didn't 
serve the best purpose and doing something completely improvised also didn't um, serve the, the music um, the best. And so um, I wrote a piece for three like instruments that um, uses cells of material that evolve over time um, based on the Arcadia track, the enigmatic scale track. And um, these cells evolve so that the piece has a larger arc. And, but within, within each section, um, the instruments are free to move around these notated cells as they wish, um, responding to the track and responding to the instruments. To accompany that was um, a large projection of um, the sky and beautiful yellow trees. I was really struck by how beautiful this fall was, even though it was kind of short. The blues were so bright and the yellows were so bright. That also really uh, made my color scheme kind of specific to the music as well. The projection was done by my girlfriend, who's a very talented lighting designer and has um, started working with projection since being in quarantine. And so we're, we're very lucky to be able to use our apartment as our as our theater and as our creative space and um, I think it was really effective in, for this piece. And uh, the projection is of the videos that you will see of the outside that are used in the video as well.
Hi, my name is Clara Warnar and I'm a percussionist and a composer based in Brooklyn, New York. Just a little bit about um, my interpretation of this Arcadia material. Um, I chose the, the sample that Sam sent us called Pentatonic and I chose it and decided to use it as a base material to create a sort of a meditation, relaxation type track of my own uh, using Ableton and a sort of a sound collage technique. Um, and one of my inspiration points was this uh, piece of music that's on an app called Calm, which some of you may be familiar with. It's a uh, meditation and relaxation app. This one piece called Water Falling <laughs> Uh, whenever I listen to it, it's just the most relaxing thing. It, I think it has strikes a balance between being relaxing because it evokes a lot of nature sounds and this sort of primordial, like dinosaurs cawing in the distance kind of a thing, very soothing. But then at the same time, it's a little bit surreal and, and, and dreamy. So it's kind of a nice combination of relaxation and escapism, which right now sort of feels like my day-to-day -day coping mechanism for, uh, for managing in pandemic times. I created my own piece called A Quarter, and it's, it's, it's a sound collage, so it's layering samples from nature sounds, animal sounds, uh, Sam's piece, um, and and yeah, and I was exploring sort of the combination of the natural world and all of its disorder and beauty and then what happens when you try to organize it a little bit more. Um, so there's a natural kind of choppy moments uh, and then there's very flowy natural moments kind of exploring those themes of order and disorder in nature. and our interaction with it all as humans. I did create a video and it's very um, quarantine video in that it's just a video of me making lunch in my kitchen. But I projected some images over my kitchen of stock-free footage of jungles and animals and all kinds of things to sort of show the funny and interesting ways that we um, we interact with nature and we interact with the, the natural world.
As we're coming to the end of the evening, I just want to say a huge thank you for those who have tuned in and uh, been a part of uh, been a part of this performance, the exploration of using Arcadia as the basis for other works. Um, and I just wanted to also say, of course, a huge thank you again uh, to my incredible uh, friends and colleagues, um, Kirk Knufke, Isabel lepanto Glasher, Clara Werner, and Julia Schwing to Mason Arts at Home for hosting this evening uh, and streaming it online. A huge thank you to uh, Murals at Mason, Yasmin Salem and uh, the university curator uh, Don Russell uh, who have been so incredibly wonderful in having me both do this program this evening um, as well as of course creating the installation uh, that you can see throughout the year. The final piece that you will hear uh, is a piece that I wrote called Hector. It's based around a particular thunderstorm, a very famous thunderstorm north of Australia above the Tiwi Islands uh, that happens every day at 3 p.m. Uh, between the months of December and April. Uh, I have been inspired not only by the storm itself but by the work of Mari Fredericks, a truly remarkable Australian landscape photographer and filmmaker um, whose work is, is truly stunning. And so please, um, right after this piece, um, please go look up his work. Uh, it's truly remarkable. And he was very kind enough to offer um, a video that he had uh, um, shot of, a time-lapse video of the Hector Thunderstorm um, that was edited by Lindy Harrison. The, so you, what you will hear is you'll hear a performance of The Brass Project playing my piece, Hector, accompanied by um, Murray's beautiful, uh, beautiful film. I hope you've had a wonderful evening and uh, it's been um, enlightening and uh, interesting and exciting. And thank you again for having me. And uh, I hope that if you're passing by the Fairfax, Virginia area, you'll stop in and see the installation. Otherwise, please do tune in via Twitch. Thank you.